I think by working with other cultures too, I, I don't think we realized at the time that it was preparing us for the travel that we were to do down the road. Um, and I mean, we've been to many places. We've been to Nigeria, and Pakistan, and Thailand, and China, and all over the world. And we were, we were very blessed and to, to have been in those places. And I think teaching in the Arctic taught us um, tolerance of another culture um, and, and the, just the desire to, to learn about all these other cultures. And I think we've, we've led a very rich life that way. I think what Dorothy said about living in other cultures, they do things differently. And doing things differently doesn't mean they're wrong. They're just different. We celebrate festivals differently, but basically we're all very, very much the same. If a child cries, we all want to comfort them. If someone's hurt, we all want to help them. So it really doesn't matter what culture you're from, we are basically the same. We all want to help and be part of that. And I think that's what the North taught us, is that you can live in a culture and still retain who you are, but you can admire and, and learn from what they're doing. And we were very lucky because in the places we taught, the, the people there would see white people come and stay two years and leave. And it was, um, it was hard to get close, have a close relationship because they, you know, they just expected you to, to come and leave. And the first place we stayed in was for five years. So we developed some very strong um, and close relationships and friends. And we see some of those people on Facebook. And now we're seeing some of the students that we taught, their children are now on Facebook. So, and grandchildren. And so we really feel old. <laughs> yeah. What kind of people they are? They're just like you and me, and but they do things in a different manner. Um, we found that there's a kindness in every culture we've met. There's a, a desire to make their life better. They, they love their children. They want to do things the same way. They just do it differently sometimes. And that's what I say is that we've learned that <clears throat> doing things differently doesn't make it wrong. And if someone dresses differently or acts differently because it's cultural, then we need to celebrate the difference, not make it a shame. And like everyone else too, there's a pride in the culture. I mean, I'm proud to be Canadian, you're proud to be Chinese. And I, I can remember the, the first place we lived, it's called Toledo now, but it was called Fort Norman. And the first drum dance that we went to and we were standing and watching and that moment when we were invited to join in w was really special because I felt like we were accepted we were not we were not in Inuit or Dene or you know we never will be but the fact that they were willing to share that experience with us meant a lot